Hello everybody, welcome to another Spark of Genius Flesh and Blood production, their classic constructed gameplay video, and we are going to be, so we're kind of like, this is the first one we're recording after the Oldham announcement, so we're, we were actually going to put out an Oldham game. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, yes, they, they uh, messed with our plans that, by LLing him, yeah. how, how could they? It's all Pablo's fault, but uh, it's, it's, it's okay. So... <laughs> how dare he? We're going to be featuring uh, some of the different heroes that are kind of popping up as the heroes that we mentioned in our earlier video, as we kind of see having a bit of play, getting a little bit stronger now that Oldham's gone, Azuri being one of those decks. Uh, interesting enough, there's like a whole bunch of different Azuri builds. We're just going to be playing, I don't know, just one of them. Uh, uh, week to week, it might just change them. So this, this deck list is by no means the you know, most current list by any means, but mm -hmm. it is... a. Uh, is a list and then Phi is kind of one of those other decks we have seen rise in popularity thanks no to no pun the, intended yeah <laughs> phoenix <laughs> rising here so uh it's mainly because of the the rise of oldham and dromai as like two of the three big decks and right if you, you can run into a bunch of oldham's and dromai's Phi is in a really good spot and if you can just like dodge the rangers uh the key is that like because oldham is still kind of ripe in the in the meta up till july 4th or whatever july 3rd july I think. 2nd or yeah. 3rd yeah yeah, July 3rd. Uh, that means for like any of the events, the bigger events in May and June, um, probably won't be seeing as much Azalea, which is kind of one of the big issues for Fi, along with Lexi. So mm -hmm. that that is kind of where we're at here. I'm just gonna wipe counter here, I almost forgot. And this deck essentially on my side is the, the core, is the contract build. It's a core contract build with uh, Taotao's list who is the, I guess, the resident Azuri contract Arachne-ish player. Uh, very, very specific style of Azuri, and um, mm -hmm. we're, we're going to be playing that one for now. It, it's, I'd say it's probably not my preferable way to play Azuri at the moment, but it's a way to play Azuri at the moment. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so we're going to run with that, essentially taking out cards like Shred, Red, which are not particularly useful to Fi, who's not going to yep. be blocking a hell of a lot with D-Rex. Yep. Uh, the Remembrances, the Oasis for Spites, because Shuko is <laughs> funny. Uh, Shuko essentially just prevents that, right? Like, you can't <laughs> um, can't uh, prevent prevent damage uh, very easily with Shuko on the field here, yeah, so yeah. not True. super required, but we are we are still pretty, pretty defensive. I am choosing to run the Perdition instead of Crown of Providence. I don't particularly know if that's correct, but I think there's like a fair amount of four four breakpoints that I can get some good value off Perdition, uh, and a good you know a good value value piece here. I don't know how many times I've actually been able to use Whispers super effectively because I need to keep multiple cards to actually like go again and then play something else. Whereas like on a one card, I can still use Perdition. I can still play like Plunder the Poor or something and then Perdition off of it. I don't need to have a second card in hand to then you know Whispers and then play another contract right. Uh, yeah. So that that's kind of the, the the idea. And then I'm running obviously quick knives, tunic, and the black text uh, in lieu of the more aggressive snaps because you know, armor's pretty good. Yeah. Cool, yeah. Yep. So um, I had to find this list off. <laughs> I just kind of went on February and looked for like past events and top eights, and this was a list from uh, Malaysia top eight RTN. Um, I forget the name of the the LGS but um, one of them it was one of them and um, yeah this list didn't change too much from from my own list I think ride the tailwind was added um, is that the right card I'm trying yeah, to think correct. I'm trying was to think was it least the tail uh, ride the tailwind no that's, that's correct actually I have it in the sideboard because yeah. I, I didn't really feel like in okay. Missouri it didn't matter too much because you could easily block it it's not draconic either so it was kind of like mm. uh, I felt kind of mid so I took them out, but that was an addition to the list, and um, the list, I think it ran two Salt the Wounds, three Art of War, of course, so that all that kind of good stuff. Um, but yeah, the, mm. deck, the deck hasn't changed much, I think, since since Fi really fell from, from Grace after the Minoism and Belittle package died. So, mm. But we'll see how this goes. Um, you know, Azuri is happy to block out, so I'm not really looking forward to many of my you know good on hits really procking it'll be you know it'll be a lot of give and take i think and i'm just gonna try to push put as much pressure as i can in this matchup but um but yeah i guess i can just look at quickly what i didn't put in the deck um yeah one e pot i took out all my cncs 
because Missouri doesn't really care. Uh, I took out the Ride the Tailwinds, and this round's on me. Took those out as well. This round's on me was interesting, because you do have the daggers, but I don't really think it's meant for Azuri, really. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know how much I'm going to be pitching to swing daggers at you. I'd rather just block with the card instead. But That's yeah, fair, too. That's fair. Yeah, all right. Ready to roll? Ready to roll. Uh, Six. Nine. All right. Well... That well, sounds short-lived, but <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> Does Fly start? No way. Typically, probably not. Fly probably goes second because tempo-based. So yeah. I'll let you start. So. Sure. Oh, that's not correct. I'm just using pitch die for everything nowadays. There yeah, go. they're just so nice. True. Um, I want to do this hand. Woof. <laughs> All right, let's just start with uh, Spider's Bite. Now I'm using the pitch dice. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See if we can get I'll some free cards. You... Give your dice just chilling on the... On yeah, the I'm going to move that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there's a, a Soaring Strike. Soaring Strike, you say. Uh, I'm going to this card. It seems kind of... Kind of mediocre. That was your turn? No. I'm, I'm just <laughs> Look man, why are you why are you gotta why you gotta embarrass me like that? Uh, okay, let's see. I think if I want a dagger again or just arsenal the card essentially. Like I can pitch I it to dagger with the nerf scalpel, but uh, it's just I, like I, well, I don't know. On turn zero it's just kinda like whatever. Yeah. Uh I think I'd rather just arsenal it. So in that case I'm just gonna blue isolate at you. Blue isolate. Uh, Alright. Pretty good. Uh, blue isolate able to you know enact the dom the dominate the dom yeah yeah well um in that case in i mean in an effort to prevent as much damage as i possibly can i'll give you an e-strike for three a little zuri switching my i blades felt like you would with this card any response before i uh no resolve no here, i'm sh i'm uh i'm shaking you down here Ooh. Shakedown. So, so this shake is down. a hand, right? Yeah. So before you before you uh, show it, so essentially, uh, do you you don't have any reactions to this, right? No, I won't react. Comes down, okay? Because you can still de-react from hand. Yeah, that's okay. But I, I don't have any. So it's gone. Okay. Um, so when this hits, essentially choose red, yellow, or blue. You reveal, and then I can banish. So uh, I I choose before. So I'm thinking essentially the highest possible value card I can hit off of you is Art of War. So. Mm -hmm. That's that's my like first inkling. So essentially, I'm I'm gonna do three damage and now. Now I'm gonna do the thing. Yeah. Um, also, and and the thing is, get, getting a red. I think your reds are just kind of like all over the place. It just yeah. doesn't. And doesn't I am drawing matter. back. So like the only real yeah. value you can get is off of one of my chase, you know, my big chase cards, right? So. Yeah. yeah. I can I can grab an opener and you can have like a brick hand though, which it's would be pretty true. Funny. It's true, but I am uh, yeah I'm drawing. It's true. It's true, but. You know what? You probably I'll can't choose, go wrong. Yeah. I'll choose yellow. Reveal your. Sh oh, <laughs> do you have to reveal if I miss? Uh, they reveal. No, well, you reveal. Yeah. I must reveal because I could lie about it, right? Yeah. So here you go. Yeah. Mounting anger and spreading flames, both red. Sure. Would have been uh, nice, I guess, to pull a spreading flames, but yeah. Uh, yeah, maybe it's really more the damage than the uh, actual effect. Like yeah. if I hit Art of War, that's cool, but. Yeah, but you, you did three uh, on actually, turn one. Yeah, it's very cool, actually. Yeah, so I'll arsenal my last card and. Uh, All right, drawn back up. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> All right, tunic. Hopefully, you just have all reds, which would be funny. I do. <laughs> uh, well, five v five. You see, that's that's the key. That that's what I'm thinking. I'm just like, okay, so you don't have belittle minimalism anymore, meaning you're gonna brick more on your resource hands. Ah, uh, I am. Um, you don't have that auto blue. I am gonna brick. Pitch soaring strike to mounting anger. For four. Sure. Uh, I'll move to reaction. Uh, sure. No reactions. Uh, I will sink below. Oh, that is intense glare. That is. That is a sink below. Does that work? It's a little bit dark. Um. All right. We're just gonna have to just find a zone on your. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Just there we go. Avoid the All no right. go zone on the on your, the right of your playmat. Alright. Um, cool. Okay, so you prevented that. Very nice. 
Uh, I'm gonna choose not to sink. I, I don't think I said that, but I'm okay. Not gonna sink. Wow, wow, got a perfect hand. All right. No, but no. Uh, East strike for seven. Best I can do. Sure. All right. Well, I'm happy I. I think you could have banished the East strike. <laughs> I was I was looking forward to doing that. Yeah. It's uh yeah it's literally a zero cost. Okay. So you have one in hand. That was it. Uh, I pitched for mounting and I sunk the uh, East strike card. Oh, you pitch right mounting cost one. Okay. I, ha so... I had to do that, yeah. There was uh, really no way to keep a single card for Arsenal because East Strike and Mounting Anger would have each costed me a card. No, that's fair. Um, going to block for three with them. So, so I'm going to take four here, I guess. Sounds good. Yep. I will pass. Sure. Two. Uh, I am going to play Annihilate the Armed, pitching a Plague Hive. So that means I'm going to give you a thing. So first... Plague Hive? I'm going to lay down, to lay down the things. That's Rich or something? No, it's a Rainbow Foil. It's, it's, <laughs> not, it's, not, anything, it's not anything crazy. <laughs> okay, so we got our three Cold Foil tokens. What do you want to give me? <laughs> Well, I can't choose. It's random. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I actually never knew it was random. Okay. Two. So it's blood rot. Yeah. I'm gonna I give will, you a blood. Rot. I will take blood rot. Probably the best of the three. I, I. That's the one I want to give you the most. Oh, is that's it? The, oh, okay. I don't. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna have blues that much that you're gonna want to pitch for it, and I, <laughs> okay. I still need to do damage. Like the frailty doesn't do anything when you don't have arsenal. It's yeah. Like, yeah. Minus one off your ember blitz. I guess I would have preferred Kodachi frailty. Fine. You're on Kadachi, yeah. then it's like, yeah, okay, sure. No, that's uh, but this point. is coming in for five. The contract on this is um, attack, attack action? actions. Yeah, that's the armed. Annihilate the armed. Yeah, annihilate makes the sense. Armed. Yeah, the names yeah, make so much like... sense. It, I always remember now because the names just make so much sense. I could have could have blocked with perdition to take it on, but uh, that's fine. I can still pop it if I really wanted to. I guess hmm. I have one in hand. I don't know if that matters. Yeah, I'll take it. So is it one? Yeah, top card. What do I get? Rise from the ashes. Womp womp. Okay, I'll uh, arsenal over to you. Alright, Tunic. Okay, I will... Hmm. Is cards still in the deck? That's a bit of a mistake. Uh-oh, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Not exactly for you. That's fine. So remember this oh. blood rust, Chris. Oh, uh, that's right, yeah. I'm, I'm not paying for it. Well, you don't have to tell me that, but with four cards, <laughs> it's less likely. Five card hands, sometimes you just have an extra blue yeah. and you can't really do anything with it, but it's kind of <laughs> interesting because Mask is not as good with Ember Blades, better with, Kada with, with Kadachis, but then if you have Kadachis, then Frailty like is really good against you, so it's kind of like, uh, I don't know, you know? Yeah. All right, let's do um, Rise from the Ashes. I'll take the Phoenix Flame. Sure. Plus three. I will blaze headlong for seven, I believe. Go again. You believed correctly. Um, uh, block with spreading flakes, which is the card that shouldn't be in this deck at the moment because it doesn't do anything versus you. Uh, mm -hmm. And then I'll move to reaction. Uh, no reacts. I'll sink below. So that's blocking seven. I am not going to sink. Cards left in hand. You, you just don't sink. Wow. I don't sink about these things. <laughs> Alright. Um... Don't sink. Da, 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 da. That's, that's the song, right? Pretty sure those are the lyrics. Is it? I did not hear what you just sang. Perfect. <laughs> um, let's do Pitch for Ember Blade. Mm -hmm. uh, and I have two or more. Yep. So coming in for three, go again. I have Phoenix Flame, and you have another mystery card. One mystery card. card. Uh, I'm okay with taking three here. Sure. Take three, and we'll do Phoenix Flame. Should For be... One. Um, um, Chuko wouldn't have. That's no, it would not one. have. Yes, it's the first one. Yeah, so we're coming in for one. Uh, okay, so in case that is an attack and you want to proc mask, I should probably just block with the armor here is what I'm thinking. So it's really just between Perdition and Black Tech. Um, 
Well, you did block. Oh yeah, sorry, you blocked Blaze. So this this wouldn't trigger, but if there was an attack coming. No, but if you had yeah. another, yeah, like if you had like another. Hell, Correct, another like Phoenix a zero flame, costed. Still, like, yeah. 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 Well, yeah. If it's a Phoenix Flame, it would like Perdition wouldn't block it because Shuka would be on at that point. So I still have to consider that, right? So any there is no there is no more zero for ones coming after this uh, because of Shuko. Uh, I will block with the uh, Black Tech Whispers. So. Yeah. Uh, that's cool. I will Arsenal. Sounds good. And you take two off Blood Rot. Yeah. I, my highest pitch was a yellow. Yeah, that is going to happen a lot with that little bit of wisdom. <laughs> and I did take out uh, this uh, rounds on me from the deck. So even less blue. Fair. All right. Okay, so I'm going to pitch Annihilate the Armed Blue to Spider Spites. Um, yeah, I'll take one. Sure. Um... I can do this into this, or I can do this into this into this into this into this. <laughs> Both sound reasonable. Uh, I'm going to use my last floating and my tunic counter to CNC from Arsenal. Ah. Coming in for Funny, six. I just casted this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I recognize that so your, play. Your attacks are minus one, but the funny thing is most of your attacks block for two. Well, a lot of them block for two. Not most of them. I a lot of them block for two. Yeah. No, I do have a, a lot of the blues blocked, block three, but no, I'll, I'll take the six. I, uh, I'll give you this. It is a soaring strike. Sure. I'll take. Uh, okay, that is it for me. All right. All right. So, on my turn, I will tunic to three. Mm -hmm. Um. Let's see. All right. I will start with rising resentment for three. Rising resentment three. You have three more in hand. You didn't block the CNC. A little spooked that you have just more stuff. Obviously, you have more stuff, but. Mm hmm. Mm. I'm going to say no block on this. Sounds good. Uh, no reacts for me. Uh, so I will yeah. banish for uh, Rising Resentments. Uh, it'll just make a yeah. Oh, but it would be a zero anyway, right? It's making so, a zero a zero, which is yeah. why I don't care about it. Never mind, yeah. I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like you could make a zero. Uh, it matters for uh, frostbites, right? That's that's where it really. Oh, matters. because it would get discounted. Yeah. That's true because you apply the negative effect and then the positive one after, I think, right? So the minus one happens and then I get my sorry, the plus one happens from your frostbite. Yeah, you you still get to get play a for minus zero one. essentially, right? Yeah. All right, I'll play Flame Call Awakening, pitching Cinderskin Devotion. I will go you fetch a. Blues. I drew one, finally. You have blues. I'm gonna get right. my Phoenix Flamo. Boom. Uh, to hand actually. Sorry. That's <laughs> mm, for three. And do you have? I've got two cards left in hand. Two hands. This is for three right? more. Mm. I'll block this for three. Okay. Shred. Uh, yellow shred? Yeah, uh, yellow shred, correct. All right. Um, so I've got two floating, which is great. Um, Not bad. Yeah, I'll Phoenix Flame for one. Well, now you have one in hand? Yeah, one left. Yeah, because the second Phoenix is going to be two, so I wouldn't be able to just, like block it case mask mm, it's true yeah it's gonna em you ember blade hey, yeah i guess technically unless that's an attack <laughs> you would just literally well yeah because if i don't block it what happens is you just ember blade phoenix flame if that's a zero for three you still get the proc right that is true um i think because of literally that i am going to block with perdition okay yeah uh, that's fair um, okay, let's, uh, let's fly. I'll grab the Phoenix Flame. Sure. Yep. Should be zero, I believe. Zero cost. Five. It is indeed zero cost. And, yeah, let's go Phoenix Flame for two. Should go. Sure. Uh, I'll take the two. Sounds good. Uh, I'll Ember Blade yeah. after that for three more. At this, I am blocking for three. Plunder the poor. Sounds good. And I will Lava Burst for five. 
Yeah, it's I no still have to come back at you. You're gonna have no Rs. Yeah, there's no mask because I blocked the Ember Blade. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because it's possible you could have just like snapped and kept going, I guess. But a little risky. I don't know if you snaps and keep going, but you still get a, get an Arsenal. Card I'd get an Arsenal, that, which is really good value. Yeah. 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 Um. Yeah, that's interesting. I mean, my two-card hand's pretty good, but I can also just block and play on my arsenal, mm. which is also okay. That's true. I think I'll just take the five here, though. Okay. Sounds good. I'll pass it to you. Yeah, that was a four-card hand, right? Yeah, it was. That was oh, a flame four. call. That's right. That's yes, the flame call guy. You the extra. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Blunder the four from arsenal. Hmm. Uh, the target is zero costs. Zero cost. Oh, one cost. or zero. One or zero. Okay. One or less. And it's coming yeah, in so for how much? Four. Uh, it's four. Yeah, I won't block. So I'll take it. I will... Oh. <laughs> Zuri? No, oh, this is a contract. It's not stealth. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice, nice try there, bud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I will mask a perdition and... Okay. Spurs. Go again? Okay. So I'm bashing yeah, two well, cards. Yeah, in this case, uh, the reason I did it is because at this point I can uh, I can flick I can flick scalpel if you try to uh, sink below, mm. or play a D react. So if you try to like, oh, in response I'll sink. I'll be like, okay, in response I'll flick <laughs> the scalpel. Scalpel resolves, your sink does three. I still get the hit and you lose you lose the sink. Right? Yeah. So at this Makes case sense. I'm pretty happy with just doing this. Perfect. Um, um, so you yeah. got two hits: salt and blue soul bead. Okay, so two silver. Yep. Uh, works for me. It's also blue. Well, I could just cuck you with all reds. Pretty funny. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, you I'll can. play the blue isolate. Blue isolates. Yes. With a card in hand. Yeah, I'm not gonna block it. So, do I'm your worst. <laughs> Want to see my worst? My worst is shakedown. Oh, that's really bad. All right. Really bad. Um. Okay, what do I want to do to you? I want to keep trying to fish for Art of War, <laughs> or <laughs> yeah. do I want to just like grab reds? Or you can grab a blue and cuck my head. <laughs> Could do that, huh? I think all three of the options make sense. Although red would make sense because you can pull a starter from my hand. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to choose red. I want to just start taking cards out for sure. Because yeah. I know if like, you're going to have a red in hand. Sounds good. What do you have? Art of War. <laughs> Brand with Cinder Claw. So Brand, Mounting Anger, and Flame Call Awakening are my three reds. The, so. the Brand is red. Too, they're, right? they're all red, yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, so it's it's an okay, well, it's an okay hand because of Art of War. Um, can tunic it. Uh, so what would you likely do? You'd probably... I'm going to take your Flame Call. Okay. Yeah. And it's banished. Banished. Yeah. All right. What's that? Didn't do anything, right? Sorry, I was just like looking to see if Plunder the Four was still under effect for some mm. reason. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't think it is. Uh, actually, yeah, it's still on the chain. It might no? be. If it's on the chain, then it's, I think so. Because I think it just says yeah, it's still, it's whenever you banish something with on the chain. That costs one or less. Yeah, I get a silver. Uh -huh. Well, making money off that too. Not bad. Yeah, you come back to the banish card with one or less. So it'd be the same as like if I did it under a second contract card and the second contract card banished. Uh, mm. So I'm going to get a third silver off that, which is actually pretty pog. Yeah, not bad. Uh, and then I'll uh, draw four. Uh, okay, so the only way this Art of War is worth playing is if I draw blue. If I draw blue and a draconic. Yeah, and I, I, I literally just banished a yellow and a blue. Yes. <laughs> off, of the, uh, off of the silver. So uh. you could get, you try your luck. It's kind of uh, kind of risky. I think I the awakening was correct because you just get so much resource. Because you, then you could have uh, zero yeah. for three and to use your tunic and then got the phoenix flame and then yeah. art of war banished the phoenix flame. Yeah, that's correct. But... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, do I let you take a full hand? Probably. Okay, let's do it this way. Um, I'll brand for three. Uh, I'm gonna say no block here. Sure. No reacts. Your next okay. card is Draconic. I'll tunic Mounting Anger. <laughs> Shocked. 
an art of war. So double draconic, war. double draconic <laughs> mounting anger. So I should get this for free, right? Is that how it works? Yeah, your wish. <laughs> That's how that works. Uh, so the mounting trigger doesn't matter. Banish uh, art of war. I don't, <laughs> I don't think you're pitching for ember blade here. I don't think you'd pitch for Phi either. Just to get a mass trigger seems real loose. Yeah, although you're it out seems... of blocks besides flick knives. <laughs> I do have four. Yeah, I have four cards in my hand though. Like I'm not. Yeah. I guess it depends how you, if you want to block this or not. Uh, I do, but I don't want to give you two cards for it, so I'm just gonna block three. Sounds good. I'll move to Arsenal. Yeah, so I'll take one. Yeah, it might have been worth pitching uh, for three damage if you didn't want to block as much, but. Yeah. Art of War is too good. I gotta keep it. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, beginning of my turn, I'll, I will use two of the silver. I think I'm gonna get the mask of protection back. <laughs> I also forgot to mention I'm proxying an Art of War. <laughs> I uh, one Art of them War? is okay. in my other decks, and I just couldn't find it in time. That's fine. Uh, uh I'm gonna pitch plunder the poor blue to annihilate the arms. Okay. Red. For well, five? Yeah, like, I only run reds. Yeah, for five. Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll, I won't block that, so take five. I'll block that. Go again. Yep, it is Cinder Claw. So that is an attack action. You get silver. Cool. Yeah, I was figuring I'd hit and get two silver, so I'd get to like get it back was kind of the idea. Right. Yeah, that or makes sense. I get something back, so I wasn't as choked about it. But yeah. I needed to do this for this particular play. Yeah. Which so I will, is, I will uh, take five. Sorry, you forgot to oh, dish it out. Yeah. Uh, because my last card is Codex of Frailty, which is the whole oh, reason I did it. Nice. Yeah. yeah so I, I have was an arsenal, you'd, so... I was afraid you'd get wise and, like, block the cards, <laughs> but I think I see the blood in your eyes with that card of war, so... <laughs> uh, you have an arsenal, so it doesn't do anything. So you do get a Frailty, though. Yeah. So it affects your em Ember Blade. Ember as Blade. Much as that matters. I'll put a 1 on it just to remind myself. There we go. Yeah. Well, I do get a Ponder, which is kind of nice. <laughs> Does that card face uh, up? Oh, you're putting CNC in. Yeah, yeah. Uh, CNC was the one from Arsenal, yeah. and then uh, the yeah. Codex is going to give you a frailty, I guess. So let's just put that up for now. Yeah. And this is mine. And the Codex is gone. Uh, but now that now that I did, well, I, Command and Conquer's not banishing anything, right? So, and then my last two pitches going to be playing Command and Conquer. Yeah, that's fair. Imagine um, you're going to give me some cards. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Come on, bro, this is I will. You also have 13, so like even if you take it to the face, going at seven seems. Yeah, bad, no, I, I'm, I'm a zero. I'll, so. I'll be I'll be giving you seven block here. That you will. Yeah. Uh, I I I the other play I could have done was I could have so the safer play if I really needed to hit was pitch the blue to just dagger codex discarding the annihilate the armed, um, and then playing CNC like guaranteed because then even if you. Like, no, there's nothing you could do about it in that case. I, but I'd waste an eye like the armed, and I was like 90% sure you wouldn't block with two cards. Mm. And if you did block with two cards or a card in Chuko, I'd be like, okay, that could be worse, right? And I'd just arsenal the codex for later. That's when I block with my entire hand, keep a blue, and then play codex. <laughs> um, okay, so that's done. I'll get the ponder, trigger the ponder. Yep. Uh, I will ice. Uh, will I arsenal like that card? I will arsenal like card. And then I'll draw four. Good. I'm gonna tunic. Um, I'll just I'll pass it. Okay. Nothing to play. Uh, sure. Uh, I will use my silver to get the. I'll get the black tech back, I guess. Oh, what a dead hand! Holy moly! Hmm. I'll pitch fate and shred to spiders by. Floating. Hmm. Maybe your hand's garbage. I don't know. <laughs> no, I'll take one. Kind of scared, but I don't think I can block one. Uh, I'll pitch a blue and annihilate the arm just to come in with your scalpel. Uh, uh, yeah. Contract build has that's like reactions, some, some... I assume? Yeah, reactions. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to block that one either. Shocked. I'm shocked and not oh, odd. They have two floating. Uh, uh... From Arsenal, I'll play blue isolate. Hear <laughs> me roar. That's a. Uh... I have one in hand. Dominate, right? Dominate with one in hand. So, I mean, dominate on these cards does not make a whole lot of sense. <laughs> so, I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to not react, or not defend. Hopefully, hopefully it's not something big. Not defend. 
Yeah. I'm gonna blacked with spurs. Oh. <laughs> okay, I didn't expect that. Yeah, okay. So I take, uh, uh, is that one? You'll take one. All right. And do then for my hand, I'll play Codex of Frailty. Holy crap. Getting my CNC back. So funny. Oh my I god. Bet you're laughing. I bet you're laughing deep inside here. I'm not, because um, you daggered me. <laughs> uh, uh, is this for the turn or the chain? Oh, it's just like this turn. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, that's quite bad for you. Um, <laughs> and then I'll get another ponder. Ah, oh, holy moly. And I'll use my last two floating to CNC for six. All right, so attack actions and reactions. Attack actions and reactions. So minus, minus one on attack one. actions, minus one on defense reactions. Oh, I can't even block out your CNC. Okay. My hand was blue annihilate the armed, fate proceed, yellow shred, blue isolate Oh, <laughs> Oh, sorry, codex. It's probably uh, one of the worst hands I've ever seen in my life. Oh, man. To be fair, I don't think you ever block blue isolate there. Like in your in your defense, I, I don't know how you possibly put something in front of Blue Isolate. Right. Because you're essentially like, unless it's leave no witnesses or CNC, then you're fine. And then you, unless you have, unless you, for sure are blocking six or four, so like you could give me Shuko in a card. But like, then if it's not that, then I I don't know. Maybe maybe you maybe that would have been better. But I'm not actually sure. I don't, I don't fault you for that, for sure. I'm debating whether I need to just give you Shuko and Mask at this point. Oh, Mask is too good, though. Is it, though? You've literally never used it yet. Yeah, I know. I guess I got I it. Know, this is, I mean, yeah, you're, you're at 10. Yeah, so I'll give you Lava Burst for 2, and I'll throw in the Shuko and Mask. There. Sure. <laughs> is that, like, 4 yeah. CNCs you've played on me and, like, 2 Shakedowns at this point? <laughs> Played two shakedowns. I've CNC'd you and codexed it twice. <laughs> okay. Yes. Uh, I'll ponder, yes. but I have two more CNCs and another tome. Uh, codex. Sorry, I don't know why I keep saying tome. Oh yeah. No, it's a codex. And you, you played frailty, I assume, or you gave me frailty. So. I get it. this is your frailty. Uh, I already drew uh, my ponder and arrows. Okay. Tunic to two. Yep. Um, I really wish that I didn't have to pitch for this, but I'm gonna play Art of War from Arsenal. Pitching something. Uh, yeah, pitching my other Art of War. It's actually a Tome of Findo, but I'm Oh, proxying. I was about to say, you're on Tome in that deck? <laughs> I'm proxying uh, it. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> uh, uh, I really wanted can't. to play double Art of War, but of course, um, that pressure that was too put much. a little bit of pressure on me. <laughs> I, yeah, I couldn't keep anything, though. It's too bad. Um, the card I will banish will be Soaring Strike. Sure. Draw two, and I'll give plus one, plus one, as one does. As one does. Oh, wow. Yeah, right. no maps. That's important for me to remember. True, true. Um, Ronin for four. And you have two, two cards in hand. Two left, yeah. Okay, so now I really have to think about, like, what's actually block-worthy here. Okay, well, I, I really don't need this blue shred in my hand, so let's let's get let's get that out of my hand first. Uh, Fair I'll enough. be taking so one. You, you take one there? No, no reactions. Yeah, down to eighteen. Uh, Ronin number two <laughs> for four. <laughs> okay. I understand. <laughs> Understandable. Have a nice day. Yeah, it's okay. I don't want to give you this card, but can I do? I guess I'll give you my shakedown. Good. <laughs> Alright. Will I, though? You have one card in hand. What's the worst you could do to me? For me, for me? So I'm down to ten? No, that's not worth it here. If you take shakedown. <laughs> okay. For minus one. <laughs> that's fair. Um, Alright, let's pitch uh, Brand with Cinder Claw Blue to Emberblade. Two. Sure, for for two. It'll be two because of the frailty. Wow, that shakedown block was very good. I would have been very sad blocking this for three. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll take the two here. Sounds good. Uh, I'll fight a Phoenix Flame for uh, two more. Sure. 
Is Shuko active? Oh no, it's for Arvo. It's yeah, broken. Okay. I thought I thought I thought it was Shuko for some reason. Yeah. Uh, I'll take the two. Alright, that's all I've gotten. Alright. Swiggity swiggity. Man, how Let's much you can do against three. a triple art of uh, no triple C and C double shakedown. <laughs> double shakedown. Yeah. Quite disruptive. I mean, okay. if, you know, Fi isn't good into the field for Lexi, but also for Azuri, I think. Azuri is quite good into Fi. True. All right. Uh, pitch Plunder the Poor to Spider's Bites. Spider's Bites? Yeah, if I get you low enough, I can just start flicking shit at you. Yeah, yeah. Funny. <laughs> like a monkey. Hell yeah. <laughs> like a monkey. Um, oh no, it's pretty good, because I could have uh, two cards left. One of Arsenal, one can. I'll give you Snatch. Oh, the man is respecting C and C, but he has no arsenal. Now you respect C and C? Well, no, it's just my hand is bad enough that I don't really care at this point. I, uh, I think I'm gonna okay. take it slow this turn. Uh, leave no witnesses. It doesn't really do anything because you have no arsenal. But it's for four. It's coming in for four. Yeah. I don't really want to hold on to it. I don't want to pitch it to a dagger when you're at ten. Hmm. I can get you to six. <laughs> getting you to six is very good. <laughs> yeah, and you're at uh, you have one card left in hand. I have one left in hand. I also yeah. have one pitch. I have tunic floating in case you feel like. It's true. Although it'll be the end. Yeah, it's fine. I'll block for um. I'll block six here. Salt the wound and a blue uh, lava vein. Oh yeah, your hand was bad. Okay, <laughs> Arsenal passed. Yeah. That was like my hand with the the codex, but because I had the codex, I was able to it's come so back good. with it. The power of codex. All of this arsenal. Nobody ever expects the blue isolate. Go again. <laughs> yeah, I know. That was uh my. I was feeling happy for a while until the codex came out, and I was like, alright, it's all over now. Fair enough. Uh, well, this hand is... Hmm. And that's an understatement, I think, actually. Hmm. Okay, uh, Pitch Blue Shred Spider's Bite. This one I think I'm gonna take. <laughs> I'm scared. Take it. Good. Well, not great for me, but it's not bad either. Um, gonna... Codex would ruin my life. <laughs> You've played two. You've played, played three two, shakedowns. So I have one left. Okay. Yeah, I still have two CNCs though. So I have two you CNCs can draw left, CNCs. Plus a, plus, plus, plus a Codex, so I still have like three Just more. Three CNCs shots in your deck. Like. Yeah. All right. Um, I'll put a sink below to nerf scalpel. Like I just have to like start whacking at you. I'll, I'll take the one. Yeah. Uh, okay, sorry, I didn't have any floating after that because that's four. Uh, crack. Can you pitch sink and a blue? Is that surgical? A blue shred. Oh, blue shred. 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 No, I would I would have surgical to you for sure because you, right. you need to, you need to block surgical I think because banishing a card from your hand is not great. Yeah, yeah, I'd be blocking that. Yeah. Um. Gonna use my tunic counter. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna play uh, Death Touch Red. Ooh, Arsenal. Red. And so the daggers uh, are online. Could give you frailty. Could give you blood rot, which is hilarious because if I give you blood rot and you do nothing, I just <laughs> you die. Die. Yeah. <laughs> I have two cards in hand. No floating. Alright. Here's blue. Oh, I'm gonna flick. I think I flick regardless. Because you have two. What happens is uh, uh, it's, it's not the active chain. It's not the active chain, so I can flick either of these. But I can only do it once per uh, attack reaction, so I can't just straight up kill you. No, I but you can kill me next turn now, so that's kind of bad for me. Yeah. Yeah. No, I didn't. I, I forgot you could flick twice. So. Well, uh, yeah. Did I give you tunic? That's insane. Is it though? Is dying is dying better? Uh, I guess not. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll save tunic. I think I, I got to give you this. This is four block. There's a razor in there, which is only one block, and then. Uh, Mounting Anger and Cinder Skin. So I block four, and I take uh, two. Yeah. Take two. Uh, I'm just thinking here if I want to flick. Because this is like a. I think I want to flick yet. Like, I want to keep you guessing. You can probably wait. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. In attack reaction, I'll play Sigil Solace, game three left. <laughs> okay. Um, so you're taking two? I took two, and then the Blood Rod comes through. Yeah, because you have one in hand, so I'm definitely giving you Blood Rod. Uh, it might have been a mistake to block with the Cinder Skin, because I could pitch it for Blood Rot. That's probably better. 
I'll just do that if that's okay with you. So I'll take I'll take two more damage from the attack, uh, which means I'll take four. Go to four. Four now. Yeah, and then yeah. I'll keep this to pitch for blood rot. It's probably better. So I get to keep the card. At I, least. I, I I would say so. Yeah. 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 Well, it's like it blocks. Well, because it blocks two. Does it matter? It, it probably, way, probably no? won't matter, but at least I'm pitching instead of blocking with it, right? Uh, <laughs> Anti fatigue <okay>. strategy <laughs> into I Azuri. Think... Yeah, I, I mean, it's just like, would I ever not give you blood rot here? Probably not. So it's pretty safe to assume. Oh, I see, I see. Because you, right, right, like, right. You don't because you can choose otherwise. Hit. That's a good point. Right. Yes, I choose on the point. hit. I don't choose when I attack. It's not like Plague Hive when you, I pitch it. Right. And you know right. what it is. So, right. So, but then I, yeah. I guess knowing that I am blocking, and I don't have much of a turn, it's probably safe to say you, you'd prefer blood rot over blood rot over the others. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I would blood rot you like yeah, ninety nine point nine percent of the time. Oh, that was like a massive cheat for to me to retroactively <laughs> take it's back fine. block, knowing you would have picked blood rot. Yeah, my bad. But uh, in my mind, it was blood rot anyway. So like, I was I, I just played wrong, knowing what I knew. I guess is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, that's, so that's fair. Um. So yeah, on my turn, I will attack with Rising Resentment from Arsenal for, for three. three. Uh, I'll block for three. With okay. the cut. Cut. Cut the chase. Cut the chase. Sounds good. I will pitch for the Blood Rot with my Cinder Skin, and I will Arsenal a card. Well, you had that card in Arsenal already, did you? I played the Rising Resentment from Arsenal, actually. Oh, oh, you Arsenal on a different card. Got exactly. Right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, your move, Summoner. Hmm. This hand leaves a lot to be desired. You keep saying that, but it's still painful. <laughs> like that deathly yeah. touch or death touch was still painful. Yeah, I think what I do. Oh man, this hand is painful dagger. though. Wait, dagger, dagger. I guess that's pretty good because I could dagger, dagger, and then flick a dagger, and then I can deal one <laughs> and block. Yeah, that is true. Is this just like, in what world do you like blocking daggers here? Probably this world. I mean, I'll never, I'll, I'll never like it, but this world yeah. is probably the one where I do block daggers. It's true because you really can't afford to have your shit blocked for nothing. Exactly. All right, I'll pitch a, a blue surgical spider spite. Sounds play. good. I'll give you lava burst. That's a pipe dream. Mmm, that's never happening unless you want to die. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll pitch another red cut. Cut to the chase. I'll I'll scapel. Scalp. Here's, uh, here's brand blue. I mean, if I wanted to flick, I should have done it the other order. I'll pass. Oh okay. Oh. That was the thing. It's literally dagger dagger or just play a card. So I chose dagger dagger. I think dagger dagger made more sense. Yeah. Um. All right. Let's play snatch from hand. Woo. -hoo. Woo. -hoo. Snatch Woo -hoo. from hand, huh? Mm -hmm. One card. Uh. I'll I'll play Fate. <laughs> yeah. I oh, pass. Oh. I pass. <laughs> Just to the bottom. Um, yeah. I think... Well, I guess I guess I could have... Uh... It snaps and do something else if you want. Yeah, but that's... Lit if you saw my hand, it'd be funny. I think you'd, you'd probably uh, funny, get, huh? a, get a laugh. Depressed. Probably Laughter both. Five? Probably both. Okay, fair enough. All right, I'm done. Okay, two next of two... I will do. I'll pitch. Backstab to dagger. Uh, dagger with scalpel. Hmm, scalpel uh, first. Eh? I'm, I'm learning. Yeah, because uh, you want to flick it. it. Yeah, yeah. Tired of these charades. Uh, scalpel. So I'm not really worried about scalpel's effect. Really, it's more just the damage. I think this one I'll take. So I don't really want to block it. Yeah. Sure. I'll pitch a red frailty trap. Mm -hmm. And I'll spider's bite here. This one I care about. Um, it's a shame, but I'll just give you tunic on that one. It was fully loaded. Oh, this has piercing. That's piercing. Oh, this one has piercing. Right. Wow. Yeah. I totally I mean, forgot about every, that. Every time I play Azuri against you, I remind you that's piercing. Never oh, remember. It, it, it is. I never remember as piercing. <laughs> well, you give me tunic. You're still taking one though. Here's <laughs> blaze headlong. <laughs> yeah. No. Um, um, I will not do that. I'm just gonna isolate. <laughs> All right. Um, here's a lava green loyalty for three. Yeah. <laughs> the issue is like with the contract build, 
I honestly don't know if I can ever kill you easily. Like, have you seen my hands? Have been, they've been full of absolute trash. That's true, that's the last true. They're either, like, hella disruptive or, like, I don't really care. But I'm low yeah, health, exactly. so I do care. <laughs> that's the thing. Yeah. All, All right. right. Here's here stat number two. Let's go. <laughs> Take two. Holy moly. I'm just going to die to a scalpel at this point. Is that a is that a blue? No. No, no, it's red. I do run the blue, it's true, but haven't seen one yet. Red, huh? Yep. Uh I'll move to reaction. <laughs> okay. Frailty trap. <laughs> well, that was from hand. That was from hand, so. It was from Arsenal. Uh you played from Arsenal, but the frailty it, it won't affect this attack, so it's still four, right? Well you don't have go again, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, exactly. Like it just it has to have go again. I'm just blocking okay. for three effectively. Well if I snap it in reaction. Does then that snaps resolves first. And then you get go. go. <laughs> and then that works. Frailty resolves. Yeah. And I get a or frailty. You can wait token. For frailty. Well you just wait for frailty res resolve. Oh that's right, because I can like I can let that resolve first, then play snaps, right? Yeah. Yeah. Correct. That's good advice. I will snaps after it resolves. <laughs> Take one. Yeah, you can take one. I'll draw a card. Sure. Ooh, it's a nice draw. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really want to. I didn't really want to give you tunic or flick. Flick's yeah. a win con at this point, which is sad. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's that's actually how it should be, right? That's that's kind of like that's why you have it. So I can never go down to one or two. So you just kill me. Sure. Um. Yep, yeah, alright, I'll just e strike for 7. Ooh. Nothing's draconic this turn, so I can't really fire. Got it. Yeah. Um, turn this, this, and this. Uh, I'll take 7. Is this the comeback? <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm done. It's funny how I can't my turns have literally just been snatched, and hopefully you take the damage so I can snap. <laughs> yeah, uh. well, do I keep pitching my, my 0 for 4s, like my mm -hmm. fates and stuff, like you've seen it? Mm -hmm. All right, let's pitch uh, last ditch effort because this is my last ditch <laughs> effort. Uh, nerf scalpel for one. Does that have piercing? Yes, they all have piercing. <laughs> they all have piercing. Here's yes. blue. Here's all the blue daggers snatch. have piercing. Here's blue snatch. Got it. Uh, I will. I'll play sigil. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just to rub, just to rub it in, <laughs> uh, and then I'll use my tunic. Shoot a CNC in your face. Uh, uh, I was gonna say that's you fine, but actually it's not. Oh, you have two three blocks. And I'll take them. I don't. <laughs> two Jesus. tunic? Is it worth keeping tunicas for this? No, it's not. Here's seven. Uh, that's, so that's your entire hand, yeah. Yeah? Question um. mark? <laughs> Question mark? I'm wondering if there's anything else you can do after that. Well, one day I'm gonna flick, but I oh, guess oh, okay. that day, okay. day is not today. Oh, that's a good point. Uh, wait, could you flick for game there? These are all no, attacks. Three. No, I can't flick for game. I'd have to flick before. I'd have to flick on the for the uh, scalpel. Oh, I see. I see. Oh, because I've already blocked the card. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. 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 Um. Okay, I'll pass it back to you. That was a full block to save my life. Oh, this sounds actually pretty good. Uh-oh, you're in trouble now. I've been on the brink of you're death for the last five turns, so I'm not surprised. I know. Uh, pitch backstab. Nerf oh. scalpel. Nerf scalpel. All right, here's a uh, spreading pl spreading plague. Uh, spreading flames. Reading who cares. <laughs> uh, pitch surgical spider spell. Uh, yeah, here's a brand with cinder claw. For, uh, is that a two? That's a two. Isolate yellow. One card in hand. Hear me roar. <laughs> so funny. All right, here's a. Wait, 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 wait. Here's tunic. Only tunic. And sink below for five. Wait, you're not even letting me Missouri. You want uh, to dominate. Oh, Dominic can still go through. I'm sorry. It's yeah, dominant. yeah. I'm sorry. Yes, I can still. I can wait for you to Azuri. I'm sorry. Yes, yes. I will wait yeah. for you to Azuri. Yes. I will Azuri. This card. <laughs> I will now symbol. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. It's uh. It's a leave no witnesses. So that doesn't do anything. Ah, crap. All right. Uh, but so, hold on. Oh. Yeah. No, it, it doesn't do anything because even if I have scalpel, you still have four block. Mm -hmm. uh, one off tunic and three off sink. So. 
I was hoping you wouldn't give. Yeah. Yeah, I'm hoping you just sink because then I can scalpel you. And right. Shit. Okay. Q. Okay. That is not the case. Yeah, You're I was safe. um, I was worried for a six attack card like a CNC, and then I would have died if I didn't give you tunic. Because uh, right. you would deal two to me, and then you could next turn just flick, and I would die. All right, this is dumb, but here's a, here's a Phoenix Claim from Arsenal for zero. I just want to get it out of there. No block. And I'll Arsenal and pass. Okay. Am I going to uh, fatigue? <laughs> My deck is very thin right now. Right. It's a last-ditch last effort spiders, but... <laughs> last-ditch effort. It might actually come to that. No, probably not. No, so I'm, I'm blocking like crazy. Okay, here's a uh, here's snatch blue. Blue. Uh, pitch plunder the poor red. Galpel. Um, yeah, here's spreading flames. Okay. Uh, in response, I will flip the spiders by it. Okay. Take one. So you take the one. Uh, I think I have to, right? Unless I have prevention. Correct. Unless you have prevention. Yeah, then no. I will take one. Uh, and then I'll pitch a codex of frailty to CNC for six. <laughs> no, I, don't know if you have I just think below. I just think below. <laughs> I'm I dead. got you. So your, your hand blocks for a lot of nothing. Got yeah, you. basically. I, I had um, I had a double sync on the turn when you zeroed out the um, Leave No Witnesses. The CNC? Oh, the Leave It was the Leave Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. If you didn't play the dominate, I could have survived if it wasn't a dominate card. And mm. I didn't give you tunic, so like there, I had I had a, a lot of block there, which could have overcome your Azuri, but because you dominated, I couldn't play both, and then I was afraid yeah. of a CNC, so I gave you tunic just to survive. But yeah, I couldn't uh, I couldn't beat that that last turn. So yeah, I yeah. Mean, uh, I I think uh, one mistake I made was like I held on to two Art of Wars. When I there was no way for me to play them both, I think, so I had to pitch one of them. Because uh, I think the, the turn before I played the Arsenal Art of War, um, mm -hmm. I kept one in hand. I, th I think literally my, my hand was... Uh, it was Arsenal Art of War, and Art of War from hand, and I passed. I probably should have just yeah. pitched Art of War to attack with Ember Blade or something. I, I held on to it a little greedily. Yeah, it, the second Art of War. Yeah, yeah I probably, probably just it probably didn't matter too much because your, your health lead was like pretty insurmountable, but um, I think the right play would have been just to pitch it. I, I think I was too greedy, too greedy into a deck yeah. that has so much disruption that like I'd be lucky to play one art of war. Yeah, I think. Um, so the the blue isolate turn, I don't really fault you for not blocking it. Uh, mm -hmm. I think when I started with. It was either Plunder the Poor or Annihilate the Armed, and I had two cards in hand. Uh, I think you give me you give me the full block. I think you have to. Mm. Like, if I have Shred, I have Shred, okay. But like, right, right. But uh, yeah, the, you the, don't the play around is, it, really. You don't... Yeah, you don't play around Shred, but yeah. I think you block five. And I think the reason you block five is, like, the upside for me is so good, because I have boots up, right? And I have two cards in hand, so, like, what reason would I have to keep cards yeah. not just... Pitch to pitch a blue to dagger to, annihilate. To scalpel, it. yeah, I, I think. Yeah, you're why right. would yeah. I? Why would I specifically keep the blue and then annihilate half two floating a card left, right? So it, it's kind of like um, at that point, even though I know and I knew you had Art of War, so I knew the chances yeah. of you blocking it were much lower. <laughs> yeah. Um, even that that was the play where I was like, I could do the safe thing and I could literally mm. just pitch a blue to dagger CNC, but instead I just pitch the blue to annihilate the armed into CNC to try to get the five free damage because I didn't think you'd block. That was a very risky play by me yeah. uh, because you got Shuko up. So if you have a three block and Shuko and you block out annihilate and I don't have shred, uh, it's, yeah, your, your Art of War is not as good, but you still get it off with three cards. And I think you had Tunic up too. Yeah, so I, like I would have paid, still, uh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I so paid you Tunic, Art of War, and still had a four card hand. So like that was very risky by me. Mm -hmm. uh, I think what you need to do is just like accept the fact that the upside is just like it's probably <laughs> cnc you should probably block it yeah and that kind of stuff. I, I was debating or, or, um also or at that a shakedown point. right same true. same idea if it's, it's a shakedown i take another card also yeah that's true um, that's true yeah so then then you have a two card hand but it's just like okay well you can still e strike for seven you can go mm. oh three oh four you can do zero for, like you can still do hands so your hand your turn's not dead right yeah um uh, but if you literally just give up the Shuko, you 
pretty much guarantee outside of being blown up by shred. And I don't, I don't think you play around my like yellow blue shreds there. I don't think that's reasonable. Right. But Especially if it means the, giving up Struka. Yeah, the the blue isolate, there's no I don't know how you can like muster up a block there. It's like folding aces. Like it's it's you're just like you're folding mm. probably the best objective hand here for like a yeah. very slim chance because it's like Okay, so what can, what can I possibly have after the isolate? Because I have a card in hand. So, like, the most likely play that I'm going to do is a Zuri out of something, right? Yeah. So, if you block with a card and I Zuri out Shakedown, I get another card. And it really wasn't right. worth blocking with the first card, right? Because then exactly. losing one card is fine. Losing two is half your hand. Exactly, so exactly. I, I, I don't think anyone would be like, yeah, the correct play is definitely he's going to he's gonna be giving it a go again and then playing something else. That's no, fair. That's, that's, this is not, I, you can't, that's you fair. can't say that objectively. Yeah, but yeah. I think the Annihilate was a little bit too prescriptive by me. I was just like counting on your bloodlust because I knew it was Artivore. If I didn't know it was Artivore, right. I probably wouldn't have done that play. Oh, I see. Like 100%, I, see. I don't think I do that play. But because I knew it was Artivore, I went for the risky play. And that's yeah. because I... This deck struggles to finish games, if you haven't noticed. As we, as we found um, out, <laughs> I was like hanging on by a thread for five, six turns, yeah. Yeah, because my like my 12 cards were like double D-React, useless blue, useless blue, or useless red, or whatever, right? And then mm -hmm. the disruption level wasn't as high, so I think the next game I'm probably just try like Sebastian's List, or mm. uh, like a, a little bit more of an aggressive list. I think this list is good, I just... It's not really my style. I, I think it's okay. good, obviously. It's a little bit too defensive for my liking. Um, but yeah, I still like it. Obviously, Codex is just like... Yeah, that was literally really saved my Literally saved my hand. Uh, that, that one turn where I had garbage. Where I had the blue isolate in Arsenal. Yeah. Without the Codex to actually get the CNC. Because I didn't have CNC in hand. I had the Codex to get it. Right? Yeah. yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I remember so, vividly. <laughs> I'm like, surely I'll have a two for six or a death touch where I could just isolate Azuri. And I look at my hand and I'm like, fucked. <laughs> I was like, how am I going to do this? I was like, I have to literally pitch this way to dagger, dagger, to pray you don't block isolate. Yeah. Um, and yeah. that's it. Anyways, but it was uh, still an interesting it was, game. It was um, fun. Um, I, I, uh, I remember at one point when you CNC'd me and I had uh, Art of War and Arsenal there. Um, I was debating whether to tunic out the CNC, the, the, the uh, Art of War and use the effect. Block. Yeah. Yeah. That's that, reasonable. That was, like, it was one of my options, which I might have wanted to consider more strongly, but it was like, I, I have the seven block in hand, I'll just give that to you. It's very good, uh, Art of War can be very, used very good defensively in Lexi specifically. It's less, it's it's good, it's okay to fight into like CNC pummel kind of shenanigans by like Ultim and Guardian, but into Lexi you can just literally like use Tunic or Pitch for Art of War and say plus one, plus one, I can block with cards from Arsenal. Mm -hmm. And you literally just like block with your two cards from Arsenal for yeah. like plus one, plus one. It's not one. bad, yeah. And block that way, which is pretty nice. Or like block with a card and another card from hand if you have tunic. So it can be used defensively really well in Lexi and decently well in fire. Right? It's like a it's like mixed case scenario. I've yeah. seen people tuniking to use it defensively. It is a thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, to make your two blocks three and three essentially. Uh, but yeah, yeah, if you like this kind of content, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And from wherever you're watching in the world, have a good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Bye for now.